Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials, and welcome back to a somewhat new video. Now, what do I mean by that? Uh, in 2014, I did a video on how to create a piece of twisted rope, all right? And I received some comments on that video saying that it didn't work and so forth. And the reason why it doesn't work is in Maya 2015 and 16, things have changed up a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to redo this video so you know how to do this in the uh, most recent versions of Maya. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to create a polygon cylinder. We're going to drag that out, pull that up. We're going to go into our attribute editor, hit Control A to pull that up, and we're going to set our translate values to zero. Okay, then we're going to go into poly cylinder one and we're going to set our caps to zero. We're going to switch to our front view and we're going to right click, go to face and drag select everything except the top. Okay, so you now should have one circle right there. Okay, we're going to right click at object mode, select it. We're going to switch to our top view and we're going to hit control D to duplicate, W to move it over, select them both. Control D to duplicate, pull them down like that, and then select all of it and go to mesh and combine, modify center pivot. That's important, so it's in the middle, and we're all set. Now this is quite large, so we're gonna hit R to scale it down. F to zoom in, that's about right. Okay, so what's next? We're gonna create our CV curve. So we're gonna switch to our front view and hit F to zoom in. So you can see that that's where our, uh, the center of our uh, group of circles is. So we're gonna go to create, curve tools, CV curve tool. And now he's disappearing on me. So let's see if I can, okay. There's an easy way to fix that. What we're gonna do is hit Q on our keyboard, right click object mode, we're gonna select that, and we're gonna hold down W to move, and X to snap it to the center of our grid. So now we know exactly where it is, all right? Okay, back to, let's say, this view here. That's the best view, create curve tool. CV curve tool, and now we know it's down here, so we can just start to click and create whatever flow you want for your rope. Okay, hit enter. If you want to tweak it because you don't like the flow, you can uh, right click and go to control vertex. Take one of these, for example, and kind of move that until you have the flow that you like, all right? Okay, so now the thing that has changed is in previous versions, you would select this as an object and then extrude it, extrude it over the curve. We're gonna select our object. We're gonna right click and go to face. And we're gonna select these four individual faces and then shift drag select our curve and go to edit mesh and extrude. Now, like before, it's extruding straight out because it doesn't have any subdivisions. So we're gonna to start to increase the subdivisions. And as we do, you can see that it's starting to create a flow. And we'll make this fairly high poly. So let's do 150. That's actually quite high. Let's do 80, that's a bit better. All right. Now, here in my list, you have the twist option. And if you do not, you go up to this little uh, option here in the top right corner and you left click on it and you got this entire menu of what you want to show up and have show up in your menu okay so here's the twist option so now it's gone and now it's turned on again all right so we're going to start to do a twist and you can see that it goes very very slowly meaning that to get a uh, realistic looking piece of rope you need to have a, a very high value. So let's start with a thousand, okay? And already you can see that it's starting to twist nicely, but let's do even more than that. Let's do 3000, that's too much. 
and you can drag it as well. Just left click and drag on that value. Let's do 2000. Right click object mode. Okay. So you can see that this is quite nice. I think so anyway. And uh, yeah, that's how you create Twisted Rope in Maya 2015 or 16. So hopefully this was helpful. If you've got any questions, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.